in all our different facets of life and the different roles that we play. Now briefly, we have had a very rich history of free forms. We haven't had, we have in fact had a very rich history that I would call libertarian, not in the sense of the libertarian party or the right-wing libertarians. That is a word that has been stolen. The people on the right who call themselves libertarians are proprietarians. <laughs> Their main concern is to own property as the basis for freedom. They're not interested in freedom, they're interested in what they call liberty. Liberty means the right to turn land into real estate. Liberty means the right to own a redwood forest and cut it down if you want to. Liberty means, and there's nothing wrong with liberty in a more expanded sense, but it is so tied to property that it means literally owning the community. That is not what I mean by the word libertarian. In fact, the word libertarian was invented literally by Elisee Ray Clou in the 1890s when the word anarchist became illegal in France because of terrorist activities. Elisee Ray Clou, who was a very close friend of the Russian anarchist Michael Bakunin, and it's just worth mentioning this in passing, had to invent a word for anarchist because if you called yourself an anarchist, the flicks would immediately pick you up and throw you into jail. You couldn't call your periodical anarchist, you couldn't call yourself anarchist, you couldn't use the word in anything but a pejorative sense. So he invented the word libertarian. And it's since been expropriated, or appropriated if you like, by the right wing. We have to reclaim that word again because it has a much richer history and a much richer meaning. So when I use that word from here on in, please bear in mind the sense in which I am using it. 